failure of a new ceasefire deal in the Middle East. An Egyptian security source tells ABC News Hamas and the Islamic Jihad have rejected Egypt's proposal for a ceasefire and hostage release. This comes as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says the country is deepening the war in Gaza, vowing to, quote, fight until the end. Foreign correspondent Britt Clinton joins me now from outside the Defense Ministry in Tel Aviv, Israel, where the cabinet is meeting. Uh, so, Britt, what can we expect from this meeting today? Well, they're going to discuss the direction of the war. They're going to get together and discuss perhaps what direction the negotiations to release the more than 100 hostages who still remain inside of Gaza. And the protests, the hostage families here, they've gathered outside the Defence Ministry every single day, guys. We've been coming, we've been hearing their pleas for negotiation. They want some kind of deal to be struck soon. They sent out a message saying, stop the car, look us in the eyes before any decision is made. They say brave decisions are required. The time of the abductees is running out. And that's what you get a sense that every single day uh, that goes on, they are further uh, from getting their family members back. And, and the frustration here is growing, especially as you consider that just in that building there, the decision makers are discussing uh, how best to go forward. And that very much involves uh, the livelihoods of these people and their loved ones. And Brit, Hamas and the Islamic Jihad have rejected Egypt's proposal for ceasefire and hostage release. So where do negotiations currently stand and what's the latest on Israeli airstrikes in Gaza? Well, look, negotiations, they don't seem promising after another round of failed talks. These ones uh, brokered by Egypt. Uh, ABC sources saying that Hamas rejected a proposal. Hamas saying they before they release any hostages, demand a comprehensive end to Israel's bombardment in Gaza. Now, this comes as fears grow of a wider war, wider destabilization in the region, with Iran warning of retaliation after it says Israel struck and killed uh, one of its high-ranking generals. So certainly uh, some concerns that um, multiple fronts may open up. Gallant, the defense uh, minister here, he said that they're fighting many fronts, including uh, Lebanon, including Iran, including Yemen. So certainly concerns growing all around the world that this could um, reach uh, far and wide. And Britt, I know you just got back from Bethlehem where Christmas celebrations were cancelled. Can you tell us what that was like? Yeah, look, it was really somber, you know. Christmas is supposed to be a time of, of gathering and celebrations, uh, and usually thousands of people from, uh, you know, near and far flock to Bethlehem, the biblical birthplace of Jesus, to kind of soak up the atmosphere. Some of them are on pilgrimages, but this time it really uh, felt um, quite sad, quite um, like a city in mourning, you might say. This is, you know, the traditional celebrations were replaced with uh, some very somber nativity scenes. One of them was Jesus, um, meant to represent Jesus born under rubble. And, and one of the priests I spoke to there said, you know, God is with the children of Gaza who are buried under rubble. This, as the Gazan death toll grows to more than 20,900, that's according to the Hamas-run health ministry. The WHO saying that some of the health systems there are completely brought to their knees. Foreign correspondent Britt Clinton in Israel. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.